you must be noticing that the whole frame is shifting with the movement of my head. Yes, this is tracking lock on, which I learned in Final Cut Pro X. It's a very small and very precise tutorial. I hope you will learn something new with this tutorial. Let's jump straight into the computer. Okay guys, so here I am. I already made a project in my Final Cut Pro and I dragged the same footage which I showed in the beginning of this video. So here is the piece of that footage. You see it's all still and I'm just moving my head. Sorry for this uh, flat profile. I use S-Log3. We will convert it into Rec 709 later on after uh, using that track effect. So what you do first, that in the beginning you select the clip and uh, go into your inspector and make it upside down. The value is 100% in positive. You have to make it in the negative minus 100. Your footage is upside down. Now you press option key and drag this footage to the side of your current footage. It is going to make the same copy of, of this footage. Leave it on the right side and we will treat this one. So what we are going to do that so in the inspector window, uh, we will scroll down and use this tracker function. Press this plus button and you will get this mesh. We are going to track it on the place where we think that most of the movement will happen. So I believe the eyes are going to move a lot. So I'm going to take this place, the edge of my glasses frame. You have to choose some contrast place, right? And then we will press this analyze. Final Cut Pro X will automatically um, track it forward and then backwards, no matter where your uh, playhead is. So we are done with this. So now we will drag this footage, which is not tracked at all, and put it on the top of our tracked footage. You see nothing changed, we are still on it. So while we have selected this footage on top of our tracked footage, we will press this transform tool button. When you will click this transform tool button, you will get this tracker option. With the drop down menu, you will select the tracker which you have already created on the lower footage. And this is object track. After doing this, you see your footage already swiped up, right? And uh, again, you will select it and turn off this rotation. And now we will place our footage in the center. But there is going to be a problem with this footage. When we will play this, you will see that we are leaving our frame. You see, this frame is empty. You have to fix it. What we are going to do, that first we are going to decrease the size of our view window up to 25% so we can see clearly that which edge is visible and which is not. So we will play it first and we will see. You see, the left side, this is the most place which is going to leave the frame. This is, this is the most, right? So placing the playhead uh, at the place where you see your footage leave the uh, frame a lot, right? So press this transform button and now we are going to increase the size of this footage, maybe a little bit here. After doing it, now you know that on the most shifting, you won't leave the frame. Now you take it back to the center, you see, and click done. And now we are going to play this footage. You see, it is same as I have shown you in beginning. Now I'm going to color grade it. I'll do it with Rec 709 just to give you a glimpse of how good it looks. So here it is now when we play it. So how cool was that? It was a quick tutorial and it's very easy to do. So before this, people used to buy uh, different sort of plugins for tracking their uh, footages. So last year or maybe a little more than that, they have uh, included this thing in the Final Cut Pro, which is very good. You don't have to buy any extra plugin. It's built in right into the Final Cut Pro X. So there are different type of tracking options in Final Cut Pro and I'm going to make my next video on it. So if you think you have learned something with this video and it added some value to your and knowledge then consider subscribing to the channel if you haven't already and share it with your friends who wanted to learn this uh, function as well and if you like this video give me a thumbs up for youtube algorithm so this is it for today see you in the next one till then peace <laughs>